The four foot tank is looking amazing. It's been up here for a week now and I'm really happy with everything so far. I can't wait to get plants and fish into this tank. But today I'm going to be building a lid for this because right now I've got this air guard and it's protecting all the splashes from the sponge filters. But I want to use that mainly during the summer because when it's hot I want to take the lids off so that we can get as much airflow and keep the water cool as possible because it gets really really hot here in the summer. But during the winter, which it kind of is right now, it's almost spring but it's still pretty cold outside, I want to keep the heat in the tank as much as possible and by having a lid we can do that because if you don't have a lid the heat escapes and the heater has to work even harder to keep this water warm and then it just costs more to run the heater. So I'm going to build a lid today using this material right here. This is some polycarbonate board. It's a 4.5 mm thick uh, board and I'm going to be constructing some lids. The lids on these tanks are also made using this polycarbonate board. I'm going to be making the exact same thing as this with the hinges. It's very simple. Anyone can do this as long as you have the materials. We're going to be building this for this right here. So here are all the things you'll need for this little project. First of all, you'll need your polycarbonate board and you can use acrylic as well. But the thing with acrylic is that if you go too thin of a sheet, it'll bow in and I really don't like that. So I like to use 4.5 mm thick polycarbonate board. It works great. It has had no issues for me so far. This right here is a ruler, so you'll need a ruler. Uh, you'll need your hinges and I like to go stainless steel. This blue thing is a plastic piece covering it, protecting it, so we'll peel that off later. Same with this, you'll peel this thing off later so that there's no words and it's all clear. Uh, but yeah, you can go with any hinge you have available, but I like to use this. You can use plastic ones as well. You'll need a marker, this is just a marker, pen knife, knife cutter, blade, whatever you call it. A tape measure, you'll need tape, this is some really strong tape. It's like the strongest one I could find, so you want to get some strong tape. And of course, last but not least, your doorknobs, or whatever you call this, knobs, to open and close the lid. They're the exact same ones I use on my 60 centimeter lids, and they work perfectly. They open and close really nicely. You can see they even stay up on their own, so that is what I like. And yeah, so you close it, fits perfectly. So let's get started and build this lid. So the first step is to measure the size you want your lid to be, and for that I just use my tape measure, and I measure out the length and the depth. So the length of this, it's in centimeters. It's around 55.5. I can go to 56, but 56 will be a bit too tight, so I like to stick to 55. 0.5 and for the depth front to back I'm going with 40 centimeters and yeah you, you don't you shouldn't follow this because not all not every tank is the same so make sure to measure your tank before cutting your lids out so now it's time to measure that onto this board and we'll cut some pieces out Alright, so once you've got your boards cut, you should have two pieces that look exactly the same and they will go on top of the tank like this. And you could be done here. If you don't want to go further, this could be your lid. You just take it off whenever you want to do maintenance or feedings, but I want to go the step further and make it a flip lid out of this. So it'll fit snug on the rim of your aquarium, but this one doesn't fit snug because there's the airline tubing behind. So uh, if that's out of the way, it'll fit nice and snug. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to build the part that flips out. So I'm going to have to cut a piece of this, uh, kind of like this right here. You can see how this I've showed you already. How I like to do it is I like to cut it at one thirds of the way in. If you go halfway, it'll be good. You have lots of space to get your hand in, but because this is a uh, a rack system, if I cut it half of the way, I'm not going to be able to open the lid because it won't, it'll hit this part right here. So I like to go one thirds. I think it's a good uh, starting point. And once you get that done, it'll look kind of like this. So 
you can see how it opens and closes. So this is basically it. I've cut it one-thirds of the way in and you can go however far in you want or you can make it as narrow as possible but that will just make uh, maintenance a nightmare. So once you've got your board cut out like this uh, you want to get your hinge and I like to use this hinge. This is stainless steel but you don't have to use this. If you can't find this you can use whatever you have that's available to you. Uh, you just got to find a way to attach it onto your board and that's what we're going to do now. So you can see essentially how this works. It basically lifts up and down and all you got to do is just attach it on and it'll work like that. So I really like this. There's so many types of hinges out there. You can get plastic ones, you can get metal ones, but I like to go for the stainless steel ones uh, because they don't rust. So now let's get this onto the lid. Alright, so now I'm at the stage where I'm about to put everything together. Everything is still not stuck together as you can see, but I've marked the centers um, of the knobs and where the hinges are going to go because I like my things to be nice and clean and centered. So I've done that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tape. This one's almost done, but I've got another one here. Uh, super strong tape. It doesn't ever come off. Try to find the best tape, double-sided tape you can get. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this onto the hinges and onto the back side of this doorknob. Also, one more thing to note is that there's two ways you can mount this hinge. First of all, you can just mount it like this, um, which when you open it, it'll flip all the way back. So you can see here, it'll open all the way back. So essentially this door will go all the way back and slam like that, like a sandwich. And the other way is just simply to flip this hinge over and when you open this, it stops right there. And this is the way I like it, but you can decide which way you want to do it. I've mounted it both ways. I'll show you how the other one looks like later, but I'm gonna get this mounted on and I'll show you what it looks like next. So once everything is taped up, it should look kind of like this. You've got the double-sided tape on the hinges right there and then on the knobs as well. You've got the double-sided tape. So now I'm going to remove the plastic off of this and attach it onto the polycarbonate board. Alright, so the lids are basically done. They flip open really nicely. Take a look at that. And they also close perfectly. And one final thing I added to these lids is, well I didn't add but I took away. I cut out these notches in the back so that I can have space for the airline tubing as well as heater wires and stuff like that. So yeah, I did that on both sides. And if you have a hang on back filter, you can cut out an even larger notch, but I don't run any hang on backs currently. So for now, uh, I don't need any of that. So let's go and put this on the tanks and let's test it out. Take a look at this. It's an empty tank, but the lids just changed the whole look of this tank in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know what I'm even saying, but I really am happy with this build. Take a look at that. So the lid opens just like that. Take a close and good look at this lid and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Definitely try this DIY project if you ever want to build a lid because this thing is awesome. Let's flip it back down from the front. So you just grab the handles, you can flip it down, flip it down. Perfect. So just a moment ago, I was telling you about the hinges. You can flip it around and if you do that, you'll get the lid to go all the way flat down. And that's nice. Some people like that, but I personally like it this way. Just staying up. I think it looks much better like that. So yeah, you can choose whichever way you want your lids to be designed. And a quick update on the light for the four foot tank. I've managed to mount it up 
on the wood right here using some airline tubing and staples. I've just stapled it in together and it is holding up really well. I really don't think this light is ever going to fall because it's quite a light light if you get what I mean. It's not heavy at all, so I don't think it'll ever fall. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like Squad, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Many more updates to come on this tank, and I think I know the fish that are going to be put in this tank first. I'm not gonna reveal it, but I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.